Welcome to the Light Leaders Podcast, where I'll show you how to step into the light leader that you were born to be. If you're wanting to align with your soul purpose, activate your psychic abilities, and to create an impactful and abundant business, you're in the right place. My name is Athena Bailey, and I'm a trans channeler, a kinesiologist, and a business coach. And I'm here to remind you of the divinity you have within you, the sole purpose that guides you through life, and how through your business, you can create the huge spiritual shift into 5D that we're all here for. In this podcast, you'll receive spiritual teachings for your business, manifestation techniques to quantum leap, channelings with energetic activations, and tried and tested business strategies specifically for spiritual entrepreneurs. If you're ready to kickstart your ascension and align with your higher self, let's get started. Hello, beautiful people. Welcome to this episode of Light Leaders. So I am coming to you from beautiful Byron Bay. That's in New South Wales, Australia. For those of you who aren't Australian, And I'm staying in this beautiful luxury spiritual retreat center. And it's just been so gorgeous and so relaxing to my nervous system as well. Today I had a Shidohara treatment. I don't know if you've ever heard of it. But it's basically where they pour black sesame oil over your third eye for half an hour. And it's supposed to quiet in your mind support your third eye clear the energy from it i also had reflexology and a beautiful grounding clay wrap and yesterday i saw a medical intuitive which was amazing as well and we've been eating these beautiful organic um meals that they actually they grow the food in their own garden and it's just been so lush and so beautiful and being out in nature has just been so relaxing. I've absolutely just loved it here. And it's interesting because I'm actually mid-launch and there's a lot of stigma around, can you take a holiday? Can you go traveling mid-launch? But I just, the back end of my business is so well automated and set up that for me, the little bit of work I might have to do, um, you know, I took this week off with my clients, but all the other launch stuff, like it's already automated, set up, been outsourced, so I don't actually have to worry about it. So, you know, it's worth building out the back end of your business to ensure that it supports your lifestyles, because I knew that this week I wanted to go away and it didn't matter if I was mid-launch or not. So I'm nice and relaxed and I thought I would hop on and do a bit of a podcast a episode about the difference between a psychic and a channel because there's this there's and a medium as well like where does that come into it because there's a lot of confusion um, about it right so both a medium and a channel have to be a psychic but a psychic does not need to be a medium or a channeler. So a psychic is anyone who has extrasensory perception, whether they see auras, whether they feel things, whether they see beings. If they're perceiving something beyond this 3D physical material world, then they are psychic. And that's why like most people are psychic. They might not realize it. They might... Um, know when people are lying for example and just have that feeling or they might know when something bad's gonna happen or they might see like colors around people um, or they might have clear ordinance so all of these are psychic kind of um, abilities right and psychic is kind of the baseline It, it everybody has the ability to be psychic this is not oh only a few people get it a few people are born with it very strong but the majority of people can develop it. And that's what we're seeing in this like big awakening that's happening as a collective at this time. We're seeing all of these people who have spent time and energy into becoming psychic and now they are profoundly psychic when they weren't when they were younger or in their 20s, 30s, whatever time that they did step into this work. 
So absolutely it is possible. And I've personally taken, I think it's, I think it's close to a thousand um, students now through Channeling Spirit Academy. And I have seen so many people step into their psychic abilities and start channeling. So I know for a fact it is possible. And I mean, I was always psychic, but I didn't consciously start channeling till I was a teenager. That's when I really started. I think around 14, 15 is when I really started, but I was always psychic. But the way I am psychic now, the way I channel now is so very different, so much more powerful than what I was doing when I was a kid. So anybody can be psychic and it's kind of like a baseline. Everybody sees, every, well, I don't want to say everybody, but the majority of people see, the majority of people hear, and the majority of people can be psychic. They just aren't maybe not used to working with it, but those that are will find it very easy to start tapping into those psychic abilities. Now, where does a medium and a channeler come in? So for you to be a medium or to be a channeler, you have to be a psychic. Now, the majority of the time people are pre, they have a predisposition to be a medium or channeler. The ones that I see who are the best at it, they have done it in previous lifetimes. And so the energetic blueprint, their body, their system has a memory of that work. And it's almost like re-remembering it and reactivating it in themselves. And that's why in the psychic activation course, the free series that I'm doing, you actually get the past life's integration because if it's actually sitting there already in your system, we can call it and bring it back forth to reawaken and reactivate it in your system. So most of the channelers and mediums I know who are very good at that work have a predisposition for it hundred percent, but it doesn't mean you can't learn it because I've seen hundreds of people begin channeling and a lot of the people who actually go into Channeling Spirit Academy realize that they have mediumship skills along the way because we do work with ancestors as well in one of the modules. And this is where people who have mediumship skills start to really step into it. Now, both mediumship and channeling is an art of its own, right? It's kind of like saying psychic ability is kind of like learning to do art. And then you have your, let me give a better example of that. So you have people who are, you know, maybe they know how to paint or they know how to draw. Anybody can learn it. And then you have people who excel in, say, uh, cubism or impressionism. Or, you know, someone can play an instrument or someone can learn to sing. And then you have people who excel in metal music or punk rock or... um pop music, you know, so it's a deeper studying, understanding and skill in that area. So very much when you go see a psychic, a psychic will scan your energy and read off of your energy. A channeler functions very, very differently. A channeler almost bypasses you. It's like you're not relevant <laughs> to the reading and it's like obviously you are but in the sense of how we conduct the reading you're not you and how your energy is is irrelevant to me I bypass it and I go up and talk directly to your spiritual team a psychic for example when you go you know just to see a psychic and especially if they're working with cards what they're working with in a sense is the law of attraction and law of magnetism they're tuning into what's relevant for your energy right now. So you, if you have a decision, if you're struggling with something, they will tune into that and see what path is most in alignment for you. They can tune into what options are available for you and go, this one is most in alignment with your energy right now or not. And it can be really helpful if you're kind of stuck and you need clarity, you need someone talking to, you know, I've seen psychics that have been very helpful but in my experience, the powerful transformative works comes from channeling because we're not just working with your energy. Like, you know, we're actually bypassing it and going, talking to your higher self, to your guides, to your angels. And we're seeing what direct guidance, support that they have for you. And I, have like over my years of doing this work, I have run some incredible channeling sessions that have just transformed people's lives with the informations that they knew. So it's different ways of working, right? And when it comes to psychic, if you're clairvoyant, um, 
it doesn't mean you're better or worse than someone who's clairaudient. Both of though, someone who's very clairaudient, it's just as good of a psychic as someone who's very clairvoyant. It's just a different way of working. Now, when we channel, it's a little bit different because we're opening up a communication pathway to a higher being. We're no longer relying on our extra sensory perceptions, but we're actually receiving and speaking guidance that we are receiving. And if you have all of your clair senses active, like I do, it's a full embodied experience, right? So I feel the energy, I'm shown visions of it as I speak about it. Um, I'm seeing the guide or whoever I'm channeling, I'm hearing them as well. So it's just this full embodied experience. And because it's coming from a higher being, what we're actually we're actually receiving guidance from a higher perspective because it's like that higher mind. And it can be so helpful if you're like, if you're stuck and you're just like, I don't know what to do. I don't know that higher perspective. Then a higher self comes in and it's kind of that higher mind. It's above all the all the muck, all the mud that you might be stuck in. And that's where the information can be so powerful. And, you know, when it comes to channeling things like courses, which the quantum activation that was entirely channeled, I had no idea I was even doing it. And then Ashtar said to me, one of my main guides, Ashtar said to me, Athena, this is information that needs to be brought through. This is what light leaders need on earth right now. So I went ahead um, and created it. So things like that, I wouldn't be able to get that just from being psychic, you know, and in the quantum activation, I channel one of the most common ones, questions that they have in their channelings with me is, what's my sole purpose? What am I supposed to do here? And those are the kind of things that it's, uh, you know, I'm getting it directly from your higher self, from your spiritual team. And that's very different from like a psychic, just reading it from your energy. So when you do see a psychic, you really want to make sure how they work. So for example, the medical intuitive I saw a couple of days ago, she was a channel. So she would actually speak to spirit and then work on me based on that. Kind of like the medical medium, if you know him, right? So even though he's medical medium, they use that for branding though, because it sounds better than like medical channel, medical medium. It sounds good, but what he's doing is actually not mediumship. He's a channeler. Um, so he is channeling, right? That's all channeling you're speaking to higher beings higher guides and that's when you can get this higher knowledge like some of the channelings that i've done they're teaching me stuff that i didn't know about and letting me like giving me insight into what's happening on earth and um higher teachings that i wasn't aware of so it's very very fascinating and so that's completely different to being a psychic but you need to be a psychic to be a channeler right so it's kind of like the next level which is why I do the psychic activation series for free because most people are psychic, but they just don't realize it. And so actually showing you how to work with it and how to activate it is so powerful. And then you have your mediumship. Now mediumship, um, I'm a medium too. I do not use it. I do not advertise it because it is not the work I want to do. My greatest love is being able to channel higher beings and provide insight, clarity, life-changing courses, programs, share information, like that. That is what I am here to do. However, because I have this ability to tune into higher dimensions, I also have the ability to tune into the dimension where we have deceased loved ones, right? Mediumship. However, it is very much an art of itself. Um, the people that I take through Channeling Spirit Academy, because in Channeling Spirit Academy, we channel angels, star beings, spiritual guides, um, crystals, we're, we're, the crystal devas, sorry, not the crystal rocks themselves, but the, the higher beings who assist with the crystals, who work with the crystal realm. So we're channeling all of these kind of higher beings who are in 5D or above. So in channeling work, we're actually working with 5D or above. Mediumship, it doesn't always transcend 5D. A lot of the lost souls and family is in the 4D. And for me, that work I find a lot more draining. And it is an art unto itself. You need a def different set of skills. So I actually teach you how to connect and speak with your higher, with the higher beings. But if you're, but when I have students who leave Channeling Spirit Academy channeling and they're like, 
I'm really drawn to mediumship too. How can I do that? I say, go find someone you resonate with and learn that because that would be in and of itself another, you know, a three month, six month course to learn how to do that and have that skill, especially if you want to do it for others. And that's what in Channeling Spirit Academy, I teach you how to channel for others. So, you know, you can actually go out and work from it. And I have a database of amazing channelers who are channelers from coming out of um, Channeling Spirit Academy with me. So mediumship, it's really working with those who have passed and they're in a completely different dimension. It's a completely different um, structure and method for doing it. So in Channeling Spirit Academy, I have my own um, trademarked methodology called Ray. And part of channeling higher beings is that we have to expand our energetic capacity because when we're channeling higher beings, we're working with higher dimensions. And that means we're also bringing in a lot of energy. And so it's really common for people when they first start channeling higher beings that they get really tired because their body isn't used to actually working with those higher energies. And so it's really important for you to start nourishing your body, but specifically your nervous system. So at the start of today, you probably heard me on the podcast, you know, I was talking about I'm here and it's doing so good for my nervous system. I channel a lot. Like I channel probably like at least twice a day. That's just like on the weekend. And when I have clients, I'm channeling like 10 times a day. Like it's a lot, right? It's a skill that I've worked with with a long time. I'm perfected. And over the years of working with it, I really had to learn how to expand and nourish my nervous system because as the more you channel, the more energies you bring in, your nervous system has to be able to hold those frequencies. And so that's why if you are wanting to do this work, whether you are, because you're still working with your um, nervous system as a psychic or a medium, you have to learn to look after your nervous system. And if you follow me on Instagram, which is at starseed underscore awakening, you would have seen me share some tips, but I'm going to share them now as well, because if you're not looking after your nervous system, doing this work is going to be a lot harder. The nervous system is literally how we receive and perceive the energies in our body. And channeling is a fully embodied experience. Um, and it's, you feel the energy so strongly in your body. And that's why it's so different to, you know, being a psychic or being a medium, because it works differently. So firstly, when it comes to working with your nervous system, looking after it, you want to make sure you're hydrated, obviously, because the body, it works with electricity. That's how it communicates. So you want to be drinking a liter of water for every 22 kilograms you weigh. Next thing, magnesium. If you want to make sure you're supplementing magnesium, if you're doing this work, um, and that your body has enough salts. And if this is a problem for you and you're aware of it, look into tissue salt therapy that will help you. Now, a lot of people who start, you know, I've seen it happen with people where they start to channel or do this work like crazy. Like, you know, they'll just spend hours doing it a day because they realize, oh, wow, I can actually do this. And so they just go hard out and they do it nonstop. They get something called psychic burnout, which is where the nervous system literally cannot take the energy anymore. And I've seen it with like my one on one clients who have their own business and they've gone through my channeling course. And so they're doing it a lot, their body literally goes, it's too much and they get really tired and they actually just need to sleep and rest for a couple of days. So we want to be supporting your nervous system as much as possible. And that means relaxing, going into that theta brainwave state where the nervous system goes, I can relax. If you're in fight or flight and you want to get into this work and do it really well, you cannot do it in fight or flight. You have to start to relax. So like obviously meditation is going to be your best friend. Meditation like for everything. And I'm not just talking about sitting in silence in meditation, but like active meditation, you know, connecting with your guides. So that's a form of meditating, like manifestation meditations, focusing on healing, like energy work on yourself. Those are all forms of meditations because when I say meditation, anything that shifts you out of a beta or alpha brainwave state and into theta where your body goes, I can relax. And we do that when we connect into these higher frequencies and dimensions. So doing that kind of work. Next one is float tanks. Float tanks are such amazing healing tools. 
you'll feel the most relaxed you've ever felt. Your body is like it's in a womb again and it's profoundly healing. So I highly recommend that one. Um, and then tray, which is the shaking therapy. They have used it a lot with veterans, but something that I noticed when I did healings with my clients is that they would actually like twitch and shake and it's a nervous system releasing. And in tray, you get into that state intentionally where you just shake your body, shake your body, twitch and twitch and twitch. And the nervous system releases all the trauma that's been stored inside of it. And it's immensely powerful, but you feel completely tired afterwards. So you want to do it in the evening. So these are just little methods you want to start incorporating if you do want to do this work um, in your life. So that's the difference between a channeler, a psychic, and a medium. If you want to learn mediumship, I'm not the person for you. But if you do want to learn to activate your psychic abilities and step into your channeling um, work, then I am definitely the person for you. I'm going to go ahead and say there is no one better for you to learn it from. Not only do I live and breathe this work, I've been doing it for 10 years now. And my clients, the ones who have come through it, who have their own successful businesses now channeling as well, are testament to this work that I do. So... If you want to learn it, I am doing the Psychic Activation Free course. Um, It's coming up. You can sign up on my website and that gives you an opportunity to experience some of the energy work, the healings that actually open up this energy and these psychic abilities within you. And then I also have my Channeling Spirit Academy course. And this is the signature program for you. It's three months long. It's a signature program for you if you want to learn to channel. If you want to meet, speak with your spirit guides, receive information, do it for yourself, do it for work, this is a course for you. I do, I teach you my trademarked methodology, my system for it. I have a system set up that I've tried and tested over the years and refined that supports you in doing that in a really safe way. I'm not one of those kind of channels that says, Just like, you know, if we don't even think or acknowledge like the lower energies, they'll ignore us. You know, when people come to me for healings, I don't say to them, just ignore the trauma. Let's not acknowledge it. Let's not acknowledge this negative emotion and it'll go away. No, I just teach you how to set up strong boundaries and how if for whatever reason you come across anything negative, you actually have the tools and skills to clear it, to release it because You not only want to be a safe channel, but an effective channel. And you can't do that if you don't have the proper skill set. We're working with the unseen world here. And so you need to have the proper skill set for it. So, you know, in this course, you're going to learn to channel your angels, your high self, your guides, other people's guides, angels, star beings, um, crystal devas. There is, if you want to see the full list, it's on my website. Um... And I've had amazing results with this course. There's a lot of energy work that goes into it. So it's a combination of theory and energy work because channeling is an energetic experience. So if you have energetic blocks, it's gonna, it can get in the way of you doing that work. So a lot of um, the work that we do is actually energy work on you. And then also the theory and the practice, energy work, theory, and practice. That's what you get throughout the three months. You get partnered and you get opportunity like practice nights where you get to practice on each other. You get energy work, personalized energy work as well. And the coaching calls, you get support from me if you're stuck with anything and you get the training video. So and it's a collection of everything that I know, you know, and it's refined every time I teach it. It's a Pretty much everything I know about this work that I've done successfully, and I have worked with the best of the best. Um, I don't know anybody who does this work the way I do and actually teaches it. And not only teaches it, but has um, an incredible track record with their students. So it is like, this is the work that I'm here for, and I love to share it. And it's always such a beautiful course um, to teach and to be a part of. So I would love to have you in it. Um, If you are interested in learning more about it, I'll drop some information in the information box below so you can check it out. You can um, send any questions you might have as well through me directly in my website. And you can read about it on my website as well, athenabailey.com.
Um, so thank you so much for hopping on and listening to today's podcast. Hopefully it's been helpful. Um, and I hope to see you in the free psychic activation course as well. Thanks everyone. Have a beautiful rest of the day. Bye-bye. Thank you for tuning into this episode of Light Leaders Podcast. I'm your host, Athena Bailey. If you enjoyed this episode, I'd be so grateful if you subscribed and left a review. Each month, I randomly pick someone who's left a review to win a one-on-one session with me. So if you'd like to win that, leave a review. Sending you so much love, and I'll see you on the next episode of Light Leaders.